Welcome to another CodeHS Python tutorial. Today we're going to draw a caterpillar using Tracy the Turtle. This lesson will help you practice positioning commands and drawing circles to create a simple caterpillar shape on your canvas. Let's dive in and see how to get started. In this lesson, our goal is to create a caterpillar made up of five circles. Each circle will represent one part of the caterpillar's body, and each circle will have a radius of 20 pixels. Let's begin by drawing the first circle. To do this, we'll use the command circle chapter 20. This will tell Tracy to draw a circle with a radius of 20 pixels. Remember, the radius determines the size of the circle from the center to the edge. So circle 20 will give us the right size for each segment of our caterpillar. Circle sure 20. Now that we have our first circle, we need to move Tracy forward so she's ready to draw the next circle in line. To do this, we'll lift her pen with pen up to prevent her from drawing a line while moving and then use forward 40 to move her 40 pixels forward. In the editor pane, we will type the following, pen up forward 40. The 40 pixels between circles allows each circle to line up right next to the previous one without overlapping. We use 40 pixels because it's double the radius of each circle, which ensures that they sit neatly side by side. Next, we'll use pen down to lower Tracy's pen so she can draw the second circle. After drawing each circle, we'll repeat the steps. Pen up, forward 40, and pen down to move Tracy to the next position. Let's take a look at how this will look in code for all five circles. Circle 20. Pen up, forward 40, pen down, circle 20, pen up, forward 40, pen down, circle 20, pen up, forward 40, pen down, Circle at 20, pin up, forward 40, pin down, circle 20, pin up, forward 40. In this code, we're repeating a series of commands to create the caterpillar's body. Each time, Tracy draws a circle, lifts her pen to move forward without drawing, and then lowers her pen to start the next circle. By repeating these commands five times, we create five circles that form the caterpillar. Once you have finished, be sure to run the code and also check the code. If your code runs, and if you have verified that it is correct, be sure to click the Save button and then submit the assignment for grading. Now let's talk about how we could make this code more efficient. Instead of writing each command multiple times, we can use a for loop to simplify the process and make our code more readable. Using a for loop, we can tell Tracy to repeat a set of commands a specific number of times. This makes the code shorter and easier to modify. Here's what our code would look like using a for loop. As we have mentioned before, make sure you indent the commands you want repeated after you initiate the for loop. You indent the commands by pressing the tab button on your keyboard. So, to consolidate the commands into a for loop, we will write the following in the editor window. For i in range, 5, circle 20, pen up, forward 40, pen down. This for loop tells Tracy to repeat the steps to draw a circle and move forward five times. By using a loop, our code becomes more concise, making it easier to read and adjust if we want to create a longer or shorter caterpillar. This is the benefit of using loops. They help us streamline repetitive tasks and make our code cleaner and more efficient. And that's it. In just a few lines of code, we've created a simple caterpillar using circles and movement commands with Tracy the Turtle. We also learned how to make our code more efficient using a for loop 
which is a valuable skill as you develop more complex coding. Thank you for watching. Be sure to experiment with different values to create other designs, and try using loops to make your code even cleaner. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more Code HS tutorials. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out in class, on Teams, in Canvas, or by email. See you in the next video.